Goku faced the God of Destruction of Universe 10, Ramushi. The God of Destruction from Universe 10 finally appears when Goku was scaring Goasu. Goasu says, Ramushi sub, you came here and noticed Son Goku's powers. Ramushi says, Let's. Oh, if it's not Son Goku here, I've been waiting for you this long. I knew the first universe you would want to come is Universe 10. It looks like Beerus wasn't able to eliminate him. Because of you, almost all universes were destroyed, Son Goku. Your naivety of believing that you can play with Zeno-sama whenever you want causes great catastrophes to be created. My universe never had very powerful warriors, that's true. In this way, a tournament of strength a tournament of power, as it was in the tournament of power, it was obvious that it would be suicide for everyone. This is unforgivable. I want to settle my score with you ever since that Son Goku. Goasu just stares. At that moment, in a great speed, Goku hits a punch in the face of the God of Destruction of Universe 10. Make him fly kilometers away. At that moment, Goku says, You talk too much. Get out of my face! Scared, Goasu says. What? With just one hit? Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Goas was scared by what he saw and what he said in his thoughts. This is completely impossible. I learned that in the Tournament of Power, Son Goku showed unimaginable powers and managed to defeat several warriors. But he also awakened skills that even the God of Destruction have a lot of difficulty to perform as the Ultra Instinct itself. This is even more powerful. How could a mortal reach this level? <laughs> Zamasu was envious of Son Goku's powers. It seems that he knew that Son Goku's body could reach unimaginable powers, but I remember that Mr. Goku's personality was totally different from what he is today. He was calmer, much calmer. Not that now he doesn't be pure in your heart, but your senses of justice seems to be speaking much louder. What do you really aim for, Sir Goku? Goku, with a serious look, starts to keep. Come on! I know I haven't defeated you yet. Romushi rises with his purple collar key and starts to rumble every Kaioshin planet in Universe 10. Romushi says, uh, Son Goku! <laughs> Indeed, that power is incredible. So the rumors were true. You managed to master the Ultra Instinct. Know that there are few gods of destruction who are able to master this skill. But that doesn't matter. I will solve it with you based on brute force! Ah! Universe 10's God of Destruction begins to increase his powers in an exponentially greater way. Goku watches and speaks. As expected, he actually manages to get stronger. I will not remain like this. Ah! Ah! The two begin to clash their fists. Goku throws several punches at Romushi, who receives the punches from the Saiyan of Universe 7. But even receiving the blows, he continues to stand. Romushi says, Come on, Goku! Show me what you're really capable of! Is that all you can do? Ah! Romushi, upon receiving Son Goku's blows, begins to increase his Akayashin strength even more and in the blink of an eye lands a big punch on Goku's belly. Goku feels the punch of the God of Destruction. He screams. Ah, 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 what power was that? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it was an even greater potency than Mr. Beerus. <laughs> Ramushi says. Give up, son Goku. You have no chance of winning. Goasu watches and says. It seems that Romoshi's son is using his Akai fists. This skill is very powerful. At any moment he can defeat Son Goku like that. Long ago, it was said that Romoshi's son's Akai fist was capable of defeating any god of destruction. Now I can see that this is really true. 
It seems that his plans will not come to Frunun with Goku. At that moment, Goku stands with his head down in front of the God of Destruction from Universe 10. Goku starts to laugh. <laughs> I already understand your fighting style. <laughs> you can't concentrate all the Hakai energy and activate the Hakai transformation. So your body can only concentrate the energy in one punch. <laughs> no matter how strong that punch is, if you miss, you are vulnerable until you recover. Ramashi looks scared and says, What? Impossible! How did you find that out? Goku activates Ultra Instinct. Ramashi screams and speaks. Don't play me, son Goku! Goku with the mastery of Ultra Instinct begins to dodge all of Romoshi's attacks with great ease. Goku begins to reflect how he behaves. I've already managed to analyze how he behaves. He moves with quick attacks. But when he creates his Hakai energy, his speed is reduced to land a punch. Since he can't fully activate Hakai form, I'll have to do it all or nothing attack. Since he can't fully activate Hakai form, I'll have to do an all or nothing attack. Hmm. Hey, God of Destruction of Universe 10, get ready! This will be my final attack! Superior! Dragon! Fist! Ramushi watches and speaks. <laughs> Want to decide this in one attack? Come on then! Hakai Fist! Universe 7. Vegeta was talking to Whis. Perhaps the biggest difference between me and Kakarot has always been in techniques. When Kakarot fought with me, in some moments I had more strength than him. He is a martial artist, and as it, had extremely powerful techniques. When he activated the Kaioken, he managed to raise his power to an entirely higher level. It was something incredible. His power surpassed mine exponentially. Even though Majin Buu was much more powerful than us, at the moment we were supposed to destroy him, Kakarot managed to use the technique mastered by Lord Kaio who passed it on to him. Kakarot used the Spirit Bomb. After the defeat of the demon Majin Buu, we still had another extremely powerful enemy. A demon that did not think and only caused destruction everywhere he went. Whis watches and says, Ho 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 ho! Don't tell me that after you defeated the Majin Buu, you faced an even incredible more powerful enemy, Mr. Vegeta. Vegeta says, Hyundagon, the demon who could only be stopped by the touch of Tapion's harmonica. An ancient warrior who gave the Z-Sword to my son Trunks. After that happened, things were complicated. None of the warriors of the planet Earth were able to defeat him. Not even Gohan, who was considered the strongest warrior who had released the mystical powers. And not managed to raise his power to the maximum. At that moment, the only one who was still standing was Kakarot. After Kakarot has no more resources to fight, and at that moment, it is totally unfeasible to carry out a spirit bomb. Kakarot used an extremely different technique. The Dragon Fist. This attack completely obliterated the dragon. Whis is impressed. Vegeta concludes. At that time, Kakarot only possessed Super Saiyan 3. I wonder what this technique would be like. With Kakarot's current powers. Back to Universe 10. At that moment, the two fists clash between Goku and the God of Destruction of Universe 10. At that moment, Romoshi says, It's impossible for you to beat me, Son Goku! Goku remains serious. Goasu doesn't believe what he sees. In a blink of an eye, a silver dragon begins to appear over Goku's body, and the dragon begins to swallow the God of Destruction of Universe 10. Romoshi says, What? Impossible! Ah, you miserable son Goku! The dragon-shaped fist pierces the God of Destructions of Universe 10, causing his body to explode. Goku in his Ultra Instinct stage says, 
<clears throat> you fought well. Too bad I was your opponent. Now, I will recover my energies and attack the next Hokaioshin. You will know really who I am. I am Son Goku from Universe 7. Battle between Goku from Universe 7 and Ramoshi from Universe 10. The winner is Son Goku. At that moment, all the gods of destruction noticed Romoshi's absence. All the gods of destruction noted the absence of the god of destruction from Universe 10. Goku was very tired. Goku leaned against the rock in Universe 10 and began to reflect. It seems that for this you did not expect it. It's not gods of destructions. The day that a mortal would challenge you to an endless fight. I was <clears throat> never afraid of you. I will never accept that any of you think you can do whatever you want. At that moment, a female voice appears and says, What's going on here? Uh, I can't believe what you did to Mr. Romoshi. No, no, no. Mr. Romoshi did such nice little dances. Now who's gonna dance with me? Wait, I know you. You are that guy who almost won the Tournament of Power fighting Jiren. Why did you do that? At that moment, Goku looks and sees Kuzu, the angel of Universe 10. Goku says, Wait, you are... Goku comes face to face with Kuzu, the angel of Universe 10. Kuzu says, I do remember you. You're Son Goku, the mortal who impressed all the gods of destruction, aren't you? I'm very sad with you. You erased the existence of Mr. Romoshi. He danced with me and brought a lot of calm to this universe. Goku begins to reflect. Even though she's an angel, she has a totally different mindset than the other angels. A greater than normal purity in her heart. Maybe she doesn't even know exactly what the gods of destruction ended up doing. Maybe really she just wants someone to dance with. Just like Chen Chan wants someone to play with. Huh. At that moment, Goku says, Your god of destruction did very bad things and even attacked innocent gods. This is something very serious. Due to the order of all the gods of destruction, I was locked in a time chamber so that I would be judged for crimes that I did not commit. Yet above, several gods of destruction agreed to attack my loved ones if I refused to be trapped in a time chamber. Kuzu looks amazed and says, What? Did Mr. Romoshi have the nerve to do that to anyone? <sighs> Hey, Mr. Goku, you don't seem like a bad guy. Do you want to dance with me? Goku looks and speaks. Huh? She didn't even care about everything I just said. She just wants someone to dance with. Goku says, uh, My body is all broken, you see. Kuzu looks smiling and speaks. Ah, that's not a problem at all. At that moment, Kuzu uses her angelic energy and completely heals Goku's body. Goku has all his powers recovered. Goku says, Huh? What was that? <laughs> but she doesn't care anyone that her universe's god of destruction has been eradicated. Does she just want to dance? Goku says, Well, uh, I don't have much time for that, you know? <laughs> time passes and Goku dances alongside Kuzu. After Goku got tired of dancing, Kuzu says, Mr. Goku, that was so really cool. You need to come back to this universe more often so we can dance more. Goku says, uh, <laughs> leave it to me, Kuzu-san. Kuzu concludes, about your quarrel with the gods. Think about it. Not all the gods of destruction want to end it all. Some really just want to bring balance. Maybe something bigger is getting involved in all of this. Goku with a serious look tries to understand. Something bigger? Is there anything that goes beyond the gods of destruction? At that moment, Kuzu starts to smile and says, <laughs> But of course, this will be something you yourself will have to understand, Son Goku. Goku understands the words of the Universe 10 Zenjo and says goodbye to Kuzu. Goku goes directly to Universe 11. Upon arriving in the universe, Goku reflects. This is the same universe as Jiren. Thanks to Jiren, I was able to release my real powers. Having received the spirit bomb back, I managed to master the power of Ultra Instinct. Even at that time, no matter how great Jiren's powers were, he could not defeat me. Even showing his ideals in all his fury, the technique that even the gods of destruction find it difficult to utilize, made me have the greatest advantage in battle. But that fight made me realize that I need to have total control over the Ultra Instinct. 
Otherwise, it could lead to a major catastrophe over my body. The moment I was close to defeating Jiren, my body suffered an ultra instant collapse, and this caused me to receive all the pain in my body at once. If it weren't for number 17 and Frieza, our universe would have been erased. At that moment, a female voice appears. <laughs> it seems like you are reflecting a lot. <laughs> At that moment, Margarita, the angel of Universe 11, appears in front of Goku. Scared, Goku says, <laughs> What? <laughs> Why did she appear here? I couldn't even notice her key. That look. What's going on? I hid my key. Theoretically, it wasn't for anyone to notice my presence here. But wait, I'm talking to an angel. <laughs> the level of all angels is similar to Mr. Whis. What am I talking about? Okay, what does she want? Margarita says, no, no, don't scare me like that. <laughs> don't give me that look. I just scrutinize as a precaution all the unknown interests in different universes. You know, angel stuff. Something that fascinates me is to see that a mortal can use the teleportation technique to wander over the universes. <laughs> Goku starts to think. She's gotta be kidding me. It seems like somehow she knew I was coming here. But I have nothing against angels. And we'll speak the truth. Depending on your answer. I will have to fight. Goku says, Margarita-san, right? We are living in the age of gods against mortals. Days ago, I was cornered by Beerus, the god of destruction of Universe 7, and he made me in prison in the time chamber, threatening to attack all my family and loved ones. I later learned that Beerus did this with a plan by all the gods of destruction who saw me as a celestial threat. The problem is, I didn't do anything. I was tired without committing any crime. I was trapped. We mortals are made as pawns by the gods, and the moment they want, they eradicate planets like they were dust. I will not allow this to anyone. Not anymore. I will show my real power. And I, Son Goku, will put an end to all of this. I need to find your god of destruction. I'll settle accounts with that one. Margarita observes and speaks. <laughs> You must be, you must be going crazy, right? <laughs> you want to end the God of Destruction one by one. <laughs> That's just madness. Even if you manage to do it, what are you going to do next? Will it attack the angels or even Zenosama? There's no return path, Son Goku. <laughs> ah, ah. Goku begins to reflect and speaks. <sighs> What she's saying makes sense, but what should I do? It's all confusing to me. Goku begins to have a different thoughts due to Margarita's words. It seems that the angel from Universe 11 knew how to manipulate words and enter the mind of the Saiyan from Universe 7. Goku begins to have multiple memories of all his battles. He remembers being trapped in a time chamber and sees the image of his entire family being destroyed next to the Earth. Goku regains consciousness and says, <laughs> It won't work on me! You're trying to manipulate! me. Margarita starts to laugh. <laughs> you managed to resist my wordplay. <laughs> well done, Son Goku. You want to find the God of Destruction, don't you? Come this way. Goku seriously follows Margarita. Goku stumbles upon a giant castle on the planet of destruction. Goku gets scared and says, what is that? Margarita responds, this is Belmont's castle of destruction. He's right at the top. Good luck, Mr. Goku. Goku watches and speaks. <laughs> <laughs> this universe is more complicated than I thought. Universe 11. When Goku heard all the words of the angel Margarita, he started to reflect. But at the same time, he managed to come to the conclusion that Margarita was only thinking about manipulating him. At that moment, Goku on the planet of destruction of Universe 11 is faced with a gigantic castle unlike all other universes in which Goku only found the God of Destruction and challenged him. As he was faced with a totally different scenario, he discovered that Belmont, the God of Destruction, in fact, who had a resemblance of a clown, was actually the Joker of all universes. This Joker who loved to make charades and unravel mysteries before his opponents find out. Goku came across the Joker's castle. What will Goku do in the midst of all this? At that moment, Goku speaks to Margarita. What are you planning? You want me to enter this castle without me knowing what awaits for me? You've always been a very cunning angel and totally different from the others. Kuza-san and Vados have a completely different temperament from you. No matter what the situation is, you always laugh. I will never trust you with anything. Goku begins to reflect. 
This Sangju is very connected to the god of destruction of this universe. If you think about it, maybe she can have a much stronger connection with Belmont. Unlike Mr. Whis and the other angels, she seems to care a lot about him. That'll be a problem if she decides to interfere in a fight between me and him. Damn it. And we need to think about what to do. At that moment, Margarita looks on and says, <laughs> Don't worry. If you want, I can accompany you and guide you until you reach our dear Belmont. Of course, you will have some challenges to prove that you are worthy of fighting the god of destruction of my universe. Goku, with a serious look, says, I've already fought against very powerful beings. I've already fought against beings that caused several catastrophes. And now I've just defeated the god of destruction of Universe 9. How dare you say that? Or do you question that I would be worthy to fight anyone? At that moment, Margarita says, <laughs> But it doesn't mean anything! You defeated the god of destruction, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't mean that you can defeat another. It doesn't mean that the god of destruction you defeated was the strongest or that all the gods of destruction have similar strength. <laughs> Have you ever realized or thought at least a few moments that a mortal, just as he is powerful, does not mean that all mortals have his power level, or even his own race of Saiyans? Your entire race was wiped out by Frieza, but you were able to defeat Frieza himself. So, do not confuse yourself right here. <laughs> you defeating a god of destruction doesn't mean anything. Goku starts to get serious and starts to reflect. Is there such a difference in powers between them? Mr. Beerus couldn't understand if he really used all his strength, but I managed to stab him. But still, he is still alive and he said he will come back. I need to think of something. It looks like I have no choice here. I'll have to enter this castle and find this god of destruction. At that moment, Goku enters the castle of the god of destruction of Universe 11. Goku says... This place is strange. When Goku arrives at Belmont's castle and enters through the initial door, he is faced with a room full of cards and jokers. Several women were there. The women said, Look at that, a handsome man. <laughs> Does he have time to dance with us? Goku tries to understand what was happening, what he was seeing. At that time, what seemed to be a very peaceful sight, Goku says, I need to find the god of destruction of this universe. The women says, <laughs> Come on, don't waste your time. Come with us and dance with the flow. You're very handsome. I think you will love to be our slave. Stay here with us. Don't mind any god of destruction. Goku seriously responds, I don't have time for games. Let's go. Tell me where the god of destruction is. <clears throat> At that moment, the women observed, and make a complete attack face to face and start screaming. We already said that it's for you to dance with us. We already told you that you're here to stay. In this palace, there are several floors and Belmont is at the top. We are the guardians here. The wrath of the God of Destruction. You will obey us or be eliminated now, you insolent mortal. Goku watches and says, <laughs> Is that all? You mean things wouldn't be as easy as I imagine. It's okay. <laughs> I trained for this. At that moment, Belmont's wrath all goes to attack Goku. Goku dodges with great ease and says, I have no intention of hurting you. But if you carry on, I won't be left with a choice. The first wrath starts looking at Goku and starts laughing. <laughs> Are you having pity on us? This seems like a joke. We who should talk about what we will or will not do with you. We are at a greater numerical advantage and in terms of power as well. At that moment, Goku teleports at great speed and launches a great Kamehameha on each wrath. All wraths are eradicated and Goku says, Huh, numerical advantage? As if I cared about that. In a tournament of power was the target of several extremely powerful warriors. Fighting with you doesn't make it any different. But things here are happening in a strange way. This castle... It's quite confusing. I said I wouldn't do anything to you. But since you couldn't calm down, that's the end for you. Goku begins to reflect and sees that things weren't happening the way he thought. 
Goku says, <sighs> Damn it! This all seems to be very strange. Ever since I fought Romashi in Universe 9, Universe 9 seems like it had an entirely different way of defending itself. It seems they didn't even care or have a defense strategy. Just Gowasu was making his tea and letting things flow normally. Right after Romoshi appeared and he came directly to attack me. His powers were high, but still not enough to defeat me. However, here, in Universe 11, it's totally different. As well as insisting on extremely powerful warriors. Even so, the God of Destruction is very cunning. To get to him, it is necessary to face several battles. So does that mean that was just the first hurdle? What's still waiting for me in here? I won't let you beat me! You will really know who Son Goku is! Goku walks towards the next door. At that moment, a voice comes up and says, Where do you think you're going, Son Goku? We said you'll stay here and dance with us. At that moment, Goku gets scared and says, What? You... you revived? <laughs> uh, I thought this wasn't going to be easy. Goku activates his Super Saiyan transformation and prepares for the second round of the fight. Universe 11, Palace of Belmont, the God of Destruction. The center, the middle part, the nucleus. Belmont is sitting with his handmaidens and begins to speak. Hmm, looks like we have a visitor here. Does that mean that Son Goku decided to have an audacity to challenge the gods themselves? I feel that Romushi's energy in Universe 10 has been completely eradicated. <laughs> Romushi, that idiot from Universe 10 ended up being eliminated entirely by a mortal. If the gods of destruction falter, they can be eradicated one by one. But then again... Who knew there would be a mortal as powerful as Jiren? My bet to win the Tournament of Power was Jiren! That mortal who kept getting stronger and fighting for justice! But by the way, Goku managed to surpass his powers in the blink of an eye! Surpassing his limit! Less than 40 minutes! When that Tournament of Power started, he really wasn't most powerful. But then he managed to get stronger and stronger and raised his powers to extremely extraordinary levels! I couldn't understand what was happening. It seems that Jiren had lost the will to fight the moment he activated Ultra Instinct. Jiren couldn't do anything else through the fight. Goku with the Ultra Instinct, and with great ease, managed to defeat Jiren and eliminate him. But then he received the punishment of the gods. This punishment was enough to make his body that couldn't take it anymore lose all its energy. It was as if the gods were punishing him for using all that power. But soon after, things started to get a little bit more complex. Everything started to change. It was as if the energy there had become much more intense. And it looked like a lot will end up changing. You've grown a bit. I have to admit, as time went by, you never gave up on getting stronger. Something that many gods of destruction held back, believing that no one else could surpass them. Now here you are, Son Goku, wanting to challenge me and believing that you have the potential to defeat me. <laughs> This sometimes sounds funny, <laughs> but I won't let you do anything you're craving. It was a long time without fighting. Now get ready in case you make it this far. You will experience the true wrath and true power of Belmont, the god of destruction of Universe 11! <laughs> Goku was once again faced with Belmont's wrath. Three female warriors who were extremely powerful but apparently easily defeated by Goku. When Goku was going to the next floor of the Palace of the God of Destruction, the Saiyan hears a female voice saying, Where do you think you're going, Mr. Goku? Do you believe that with that alone you were able to defeat me? Goku is startled by what he sees. The three refs come together and become just one warrior. At that moment, the Supreme Wrath says, I am Zamir, Belmont's ultimate wrath. You have shown yourself to be very strong. Didn't you want to dance with my mates? Then you will have to understand what will happen right now. 
It seems that Belmont is giving me a full plate for me to finish you off. You know that here within this universe, there are several races. And there are several servants of the gods of destruction. We will always try to reach the top so that one day we can be treated like them. <sighs> Goku starts watching and says, Who is she talking about? At that moment, the Supreme Wrath responds, Margarita, of course! She was treated, always treated very well by everyone! Margarita was treated well by Belmont since she was a little girl! The two always got along so well as children, and then when they got older, Belmont became the god of destruction and Margarita became the angel who accompanied him! But the truth is, I am the supreme wrath that should accompany Lord Belmont! I was always by your side, protecting you, you... You... Bastard! <laughs> doing everything but he never noticed me because I was weak but now I have the necessary power that will be able to make him notice me can you see that can you Goku starts watching and says uh, looks like the god of destruction and the angel have brainwashed you you're kind of crazy if you're here protecting him with your life do you think he would ever be grateful to do anything for you that's where you're wrong you do not know anything. Now get out of my way and let me pass. I'm sure you can be freed and do what you want. At that moment, Zamir, the Supreme Wrath, begins to laugh at Goku and speaks. Do what I want? <laughs> Are you insane? I'm already doing everything I want. <laughs> I just want to finish you off, Son Goku, and show Belmont Son that I'm worthy of everything. So now, take my power! Wrath charges straight at Goku, trying to attack with a flurry of punches. Goku activates his Ultra Instinct. Goku launches several attacks at Wrath, but it starts to dodge. Goku walks quickly and begins to observe that no matter what attack he launches, the Wrath always regenerates her body and says, you will never defeat me! You can't realize that my body has gigantic regeneration. No matter what attack you do, no matter what attack you land, no matter how hard you try, I will finish you off and eliminate you, Son Goku! <laughs> you will never be able to defeat me! Now say goodbye! At that moment, a big explosion happens. Everyone begins to raise their energies even more. The gigantic tower was being shown. No one else believed what they were being told. Wrath increasingly raised her powers. But in the blink of an eye, Goku's powers began to increase even more in a totally exponential way. Belmont's wrath is frightened by Goku's strength. Goku says, I didn't want to do this, but I will have to because things are getting more complicated with you. It's sad to see the brainwashing that a god of destruction can do to a being. She believes that whatever happens that Momot will recognize her. But she doesn't realize that she is just a puppet made by him. Now I understand why his name is the Joker of Universe 11. It seems that everything he's doing is just a game. This palace, the floor to get to it, are all trainings he himself performs on beings. Zamir, I'm sorry. There's nothing else to do. Goku starts to remember his fight against Zamasu and says... I fought guys who were actually even immortal. They had extremely powerful abilities. Nothing I can do to eradicate your body. But after realizing everything that was happening, this time, I'm going to show you the true energy of everything I'm capable of. At that moment, Goku charges directly at Belmont's wrath and says, Hakai! A large Hakai energy is released by Goku on wrath. Zami looks scared and says, What? It is impossible! How a single mortal can accomplish this? What technique is this? It is the same grandiose technique as Mr. Belmont! I will be proud to be eliminated by this technique. I seem to be seeing the same scam from Mr. Belmont himself. Goku with Hakai eliminates Zami's wrath. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Thank you. Mr. Goku. At that moment, Goku seriously said, I'll never forgive you. 
Belmont to be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter to that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. After Beerus' death, Whis and Goku are about to face Dark Goku, Dark Vegeta, and Dark Piccolo. Ready for the battle, Goku and Whis begin to concentrate. We are finally about to witness one of the greatest battles ever fought. Goku is in battle position and he's the first to leave. At that moment, Goku raises his key and flies to the sky. And then Goku leaves upon the corrupted warriors. At that moment, Gohan takes the lead of the other warriors and goes against Goku. They begin to exchange incredible blows. Gohan uses his speed to attack Goku, throwing several punches and kicks. Goku manages to defend himself despite being a little tired. After a few minutes between Goku and Gohan's battle, Goku becomes enraged and transforms into his Omni Goku form. The battle starts to get tense. Neither one of them backs down, nor one of them leaves a gap. At that time, Goku Omni takes distance and unleashes a sphere of ki. Gohan, upon receiving the impact of that blow, begins to slowly fall from the sky. After Gohan's downfall, Goku says, That is all your power? I could easily end this all. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos, and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's go back to the point. Goku, who is out of breath and tired, had already fought before and saw his comrade die in front of him. Doesn't look back and continues to say, Come on, come on! I really want to defeat you, Dark Goku! And then we see Piccolo with his arms crossed and saying, Get ready. Here will be your tomb and all of your warriors. With a ton of arrogance and irony, Dark Piccolo continues with his arms crossed. And at that time, we see Piccolo raise only a single arm. And with his hand closed and only one finger pointed at the opponent, he fires an extremely different key. This key had a reddish color and had small rays in it and it was like a small sphere. After releasing his key towards Goku, Piccolo says, Now die! At that moment, the strangely abused key hits Goku like shockwaves. Goku feels his entire body being electrocuted. Goku starts to fall from the sky too quickly. He recovers and uses his teleportation to go in front of Piccolo. And then as he approached, Goku Omni is face to face to Piccolo. It was so unexpected that Piccolo got his fright. His face changes after Goku from close range fired a wave of energy into his chest. Yet another Dark Warrior has just fallen. Piccolo dies, leaving only Dark Vegeta in Dark Goku. We can see that Goku is almost out of strength to continue the battle, and then Goku says, <sighs> Now it's just the two of you. Get ready to fight! Goku barely manages to stand up, but still doesn't give up. So Vegeta says, Hmm, why do I have to finish this worm? He is already almost dead. It would be a complete waste of time. But since there is no other way, I'm going. At that moment when Dark Vegeta was going after Goku, Dark Vegeta with his speed is reaching Goku, but at the same time something interrupts him. Whis enter in front of him, and with a single blow of his staff knocks Vegeta down and says, I'm just returning the favor you did me. So at that time, another warrior has just fallen. And we says to Goku, Lord Goku, get some rest now. It's my turn to fight. Thanks for clearing the path for me. <laughs> Whis, with a smile on his face, continues to say, Lord Goku, don't you dare to die until I come back to heal you. Goku then responds, Mr. Whis, <clears throat> what else are you going to do? He's too strong. Whis continues to speak. I know, Lord Goku, but I'm already an angel without a master. So I will do my best to defeat this dark version of you. You're not like Lord Daishikun to be able to save yourself. Then Dark Goku starts to say, <laughs> You tend to fight me or keep chatting there. Whis then speaks. It's my turn to fight, and I will defeat you and offer Mr. Beerus victory. Goku then descends to the ground and he lies down, tired and panty with multiple bruises. Whis then in battle position readies to fight, starts going to Dark Goku. 
who is waiting for him, as if nothing is happening. We starts to spin his staff, creating a wave of wind, and as he approaches Dark Goku, he shoots that gust of wind. Dark Goku starts laughing. <laughs> At that time, he says, You came here to cool me down? I can't believe you're going to die like this. Angels don't have that much power. They are the most powerful in the universe and I want to see. Show your strength! Whis is silent for a moment and begins to focus all his energy. Whis begins to emanate a white and silent aura as if he was at peace. In a matter of seconds, Whis disappears. It is no longer there. Whis is now in front of Dark Goku starting to give several blows. He starts throwing punches with absurd power. Whis punches were so powerful that they caused pressure in the air. The kicks were also powerful. They could cut through the winds. But in the midst of all this, Dark Goku didn't care about the blows. He managed to block them calmly. Then Dark Goku starts to fight back the blows of Whis that until now is only defending itself. Dark Goku retaliates with some unsuccessful punches because Whis didn't give gaps in his defense. So he keeps attacking. Until finally he lands a punch in Whis's stomach. The blow was so powerful that Whis instantly spits blood. Then Dark Goku continues to attack Whis, who feels Dark Goku's blows a lot. Whis will just be thrown to the ground that opens a huge crater. And quickly Dark Goku grabs him by the hair. And starts giving Whis several kicks. At this time, Whis says, I'm sorry Mr. Beerus, I couldn't. He's almost lifeless. He feels a tear run down his face. Then Dark Goku throws him to the side and says, Was that all? Is that all you've got, Whis? Your powers don't compare to mine. When Goku sees that Whis was on the ground, he becomes enraged and his body begins to change. Goku transforms into Goku Omni again and goes towards Whis, picking him up. And he says, Mr. Whis! How are you? Oh, you're not good. Whis, who could barely move, says, I couldn't defeat him. <laughs> Lord Goku. <laughs> Goku then says, No, don't worry. It ends here. Goku puts Whis down again and goes on top of Dark Goku. And he starts shooting blasts of ki at his sunset that doesn't even bother to move. Goku uses his speed and continues shooting his ski spheres. And he goes towards Dark Goku and as he approaches, he stretches his arm back and punches Dark Goku's face very hard. And at that time, Dark Goku is thrown away, destroying several mountains behind him. When recovering, Dark Goku sees that Goku is not joking around, so in battle position he prepares to attack Goku. Upon going up to Goku, he starts throwing punches and grabs Goku by his feet and throws him away, making Goku fall on Whis who is lying on the ground, almost lifeless. Goku quickly gets up and concentrates his ki and goes to his second Omni transformation. At this time, Goku goes up to Dark Goku and surprises him by launching a ki blast that doesn't even come close to hitting him. So Dark Goku says, What was that? I wasn't even close. Uh, I guess he was supposed to hit. I'm afraid you'll have to improve your marksmanship. Then Goku smiling says, Don't be in a hurry. I have time to finish you off. Dark Goku, when enraged, goes on top of Goku with a frightening pressure. Every step Dark Goku took, the floor under his feet cracked a little. When getting extremely close to Goku, he prepares to fire his attack that would end Beerus' life. With a somber tone, he says, Okay. Quickly, Goku does the same and says, Okay. With the powers in collision, we see Dark Goku and Goku tries to hit each other. Dark Goku, who had just learned to use this technique, does not have enough control. So he loses control and is hit by Goku's power. Upon getting extremely injured, Dark Goku says, This is not over! Then he opens a portal and picks up his fallen companions and disappear. To be continued. Dark Goku was defeated once and for all. Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.
Goku advanced through the palace of the God of Destruction of Universe 11. Meanwhile, on Planet of Destruction in Universe 7, Beerus began to analyze everything that was happening. At that moment, Vegeta had teleported himself to the Planet of Destruction and was still carrying out training alongside Whis. At that moment, Vegeta says, It's been a long time since Kakarot ended up leaving here. Does that mean he managed to get Beerus into a trap? Looks like things are going to get a lot more complicated around here, Mr. Whis. I don't know who is really right, but the God of Destruction decided to attack Kakarot, and Kakarot did nothing for them. We start stalking. I understand, Mr. Vegeta, but it seems that the Gods of Destruction begin to have a vision of the Oracle Fish that a Saiyan could destroy everything in the future. They made an association that would be Mr. Goku, since because of him the Tournament of Power took place. That tournament of power caused great catastrophes and had great concern with everything that would happen. Mr. Goku managed to get stronger and stronger. He even managed to defeat Moro. Moro, the one who was a supreme being who had already finished and destroyed everyone. That devourer of words, just like a god of destruction, Moro just swallowed planets. While the gods of destruction eradicated them. Now he wanted to overcome a god of destruction. He managed to raise his strength more and more until the moment he reached extremely scrupulous levels. But that wasn't enough for Son Goku. Son Goku managed to defeat him. Over time, we saw that Granola and Gas had requested to the dragons of their universes for them to become the most powerful beings in the universe. And then so, Lord Vegeta, you, alongside Goku, managed to become more and more powerful. Don't you find that a bit strange? Vegeta begins to reflect. At that moment, a loud bang starts to appear. On the planet of destruction, Vegeta starts to watch and says, <clears throat> What is this? At that moment, we starts to laugh and says, <laughs> It seems like he's finally breaking free. A large crater opens on the planet of destruction. And at that moment, a large temporal rift opens in the sky. From this temporal rift, a transition of time and space appears. And who appears is Beerus, the Destroyer. And he says, Damn it, Son Goku! How dare you trap me in this empty dimension! I will destroy you! <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Beerus had gone loose. At that moment, Vegeta starts to observe and says, <clears throat> Does it mean that Kakarot was able to trap Mr. Beerus the Destroyer in that empty dimension? <sighs> this really is something unreal. Looks like things are going to be more complicated now. But Mr. Beerus certainly didn't want to kill Kakarot. If he used his Supreme Hakai form, he certainly knew what he could reach. He got his highest level. Beerus begins to observe and speaks. Wow, Whis, are you getting another Saiyan here? Whis responds. Mr. Beerus, I don't understand you. After all, you were Mr. Vegeta's real trainer. He learned Ultra Ego from you. <laughs> At that moment, Beerus starts to reflect and says, Why am I doing this? I cannot understand. <clears throat> After I decided to make the decision with the gods, everything seems to go crazy. Iris speaks. Vegeta, get off this planet. I have nothing against you. At that moment, Vegeta starts to laugh and says, <laughs> If Kakarot managed to trap you in another dimension, I will be able to do that too. After all, I am more powerful than that worm. I want to test my powers. At that moment, we starts to laugh and says, <laughs> It looks like Beerus, the destroyer of Universe 7, is being underestimated by more mortals. <laughs> I think you shouldn't have fallen into that trap, Mr. Beerus. <laughs> At that moment, Beerus observes and activates his Supreme Hakai form and teleports himself in front of Vegeta with a face of who is going to perform the Hakai, and says, Vegeta, don't you dare try to face me again. Today I confess to you that I'm not in my best days. 
but I'm already reflecting on the decisions of the gods of destruction. Maybe they are not the most correct. A time that I stopped directly in the empty dimension. Could I understand what Goku must have gone through? Perhaps the decision to act before Goku has done something and blame the mortal before he has committed a crime becomes something wrong. That crazy Goku Black decided to cause all the destruction and make all that catastrophe. Being that he was Zamasu, as we learn of Zamasu's decisions for Trunks' future, we were able to finish him off in the present. But now, things are different. Goku is not wrong in the decision. That's why he fought against me without thinking of anything, without caring about anything. But I don't know. We don't know if Goku is turning to something good or bad. If it is something bad, then he is a target for all the gods of destruction. There are gods of destruction with weaker levels. But there are other gods who are stronger, more adulous. To get to them, things will be more intense. But now I can see. I can remember everything Goku did for those planets. All this time that I've been sleeping for 53 days. The Earth and every other universes pass through intense complications. Maybe it's time to return Goku a favor for what he did. Without letting anything go unbalanced. I will train you one more time, Vegeta. And we will end this intrigue between the gods. Whoever it is, we are going to defeat the gods of destruction. Until the moment we find Goku in your journey. Vegeta begins to observe and speaks. That's the decision of the god of destruction of Universe 7. Whis begins to observe and says. It seems like there's a drawback to every god of destruction's decisions. <laughs> Never imagined Beerus the destroyer to be back against the gods of destruction for a mortal. Interesting. Vegeta begins to be excited and says, That's right. Now I will be able to test all my powers against the god of destruction. At this moment on Universe 7, Goku walked through the next floor of the Palace of the Gods of Destruction, Belmont. At this moment, Goku encounters himself with a known voice that says, I was waiting for you, Son Goku, since the Tournament of Power. At that moment, Topo from Universe 11, the successor of the God of Destruction, was in front of Goku. Goku smiles and says, I could have imagined that you would be here, Topo. A new battle is about to begin. With the two smiling, they prepare themselves to the fight. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe yet to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.